Hello everyone, how's it going? I'm Tarun and in this video we will continue on with our HTML series and in particular we are going to start off with uh, HTML forms and what are we waiting for? Let's get right into it. So, in the previous video we finished off with that skimming we needed but now we're going to continue on with HTML forms. Uh, forms are everywhere. Uh, I did not need to um, explain about that because uh, once you go onto a website and you uh, try to sign up or log in, that is a form. And you uh, donate. Uh, there are these donation pages. That is a form. And where else? Yeah, there are these comment and comment boxes. That is a form too. So forms are pretty much everywhere. And that that is the reason why forms are very important. So let's start with the HTML forms. So the basic syntax of form would be form and the inner elements inside that. Okay. Um, if you remember, this is a comment in uh, HTML. Okay, form. We need a double dash here. That's why. Yeah, slash form. So this is the general uh, form of the form. Yeah, this is the general form of the HTML forms. Okay, so within this, we are gonna define whatever the input elements we need. There is the boxes, the check boxes, the radio buttons. Uh, what else we got? We got the drop down menu. Okay, we got a lot of things to do with forms. So let's get it going. Uh, let's just remove this for now. Okay, so the first thing I would like to show you is text. Okay. So input type equals to. So for a text box, what you need to do is you you need to start off with the input tag, okay? The angular bracket and input tag with the type attribute where we will be defining which type it is, whether it's a text or a checkbox or a radio box or uh, whatever it may be, text field, text area, anything. Okay, so input type equals to text uh, for now let's just save it and let's just view how it looks uh, let's just go to packages atom live server and start the server so the server gets started and we'll be good to go okay we have this cool so we're working on html 9.html uh, we have these images right let's just uh, let me just comment this images for now See, cool. We have the box, right? Now, uh, that is the input text of box. Uh, sorry, that's a text text field. Okay, it's a text field where you can click and you can start typing in there. Okay, that is a text field. Now, next, uh, what we want, uh, what what do we want to show you? Uh, let me show you uh, input text, radio radio button. Okay, that goes like input. Yeah, input type equals to. Okay, so radio, right? Input type equals to for radio, we'll have input type equals to radio. Okay, then we will have to mention the name for this thing. Uh, before that, okay, no need of name. I just I just want to show you what this does. Okay, it may be. Okay, uh, let's give a br for the next nine. Then another input type equals to radio female say that so we have that okay so let me just give a break here so it goes neat let's make this font size a little bigger so that you guys could see okay so that's cool uh what else uh, here it is just make the font size a little bit bigger six pixels maybe cool so at least you can see that okay uh, or it looks ugly right so okay fine uh, <laughs> okay so input type is radio male and female we have that right let's just make that okay male and female that is the radio button radio button is uh, used when you could only uh, click like either one of the options but here we're able to click both the options. I'll show you why that happens and how we could rectify that. Okay, so we have the radio button. The next we have the checkbox also. 
input type equals the checkbox and you could say like um 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 let's say three plus uh, for for age or something you could use that see you have that twenty plus you could you could tick that that that's the checkbox right and then after the checkbox now what if you wanted to submit this form okay we need a submit button right you cannot use any other normal um, simply a button where you just click it must be of type submit okay then let's give input type equals the submit right save we have the submit button okay it's the submit query I'll, I'll show you just in a minute how to change that we have a lot of furniture furniture okay so when I submit that it goes to a page where, which is hand which handles this form okay so which is the page which handles the form it is one which we mention in the this form tag okay we have not mentioned anything so it's not going to do anything I, I'll show you in that uh, I, I'll show you about that in a minute because that involves PHP in that okay so uh, until now I, I assume that you guys do not know PHP so I don't want to confuse you all but this is the general um, idea about the HTML forms okay so I think uh, this that's all for this video we'll continue on with the next video there are so many things to do with this forms like um, uh, I told you like the radio button has to be only click well, okay, could be clicked only selected only once, okay? But we saw that both the male and female were be able to click the one. That's a mistake, we need to change that and there are so many things to do. So see you guys in the next video, it was fun doing this. So goodbye.